This video is going to be all about YouTube ads placement targeting. I'll be talking about video placements, channel placements, video lineups, and how everything works and what some best practices are. My name is Kyle Sellerud. I'm the creator of the Vid Hoarder targeting software for YouTube ads, founder of AdLeg, a marketing agency specializing in YouTube ads. And if you want more content like this from me about YouTube ads, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And before I get into it, I'm curious, have you used placement targeting in your YouTube ad campaigns? If so, how many placements did you target and what were the general results you saw from your campaign? Comment below, let me know. So what is placement targeting? Placement targeting is you telling YouTube specifically where to run your ads. If you add video placements, then your ads will only run on those specific videos. Now, this is powerful because think about how people end up watching videos on YouTube. Either they're subscribed to a channel that they're interested in, or they are doing a search for something. They wanna learn more about something, they wanna learn how to do something. Now, they do the search, they click on some of the top results and start watching those videos. If your product or service solves the same issue as the video that they were trying to watch, it's a perfect fit. These are prime videos to be targeting with your YouTube ads. Beyond that, if someone's starting to watch some of these videos to learn more about a particular subject, they're also going to start getting more videos recommended to them. And they're going to be watching additional videos related to the thing that they've started searching for. Your video can also go on that, okay? The key here is to dominate a particular topic and place your video on all of the videos you can that are specific to that topic. And you can also target specific channels. So if there's a channel on a subject matter that's related to what you're selling, you can add that channel to your placement targeting and then your ad will be eligible to run on all of the videos on that channel. Now this works and you should definitely do it, but I recommend actually taking it even a step further. If there's a channel that you wanna target, I would add all of the individual video placements from that channel to the targeting. Now this might sound like overkill, but there are a couple reasons for it. First of all, I found out accidentally that by doing this, I actually started getting more traffic. When I was just targeting the, the channel, I got a certain amount of traffic. When I was targeting the channel and all the videos within that channel, I started getting a lot more traffic. Somehow this is how it works out in Google's system. The other reason for this is it gives you better data. If you're just targeting a channel, you're going to see just the data for that specific channel. Now, some videos within the channel might be performing better or worse. Some videos might not be doing well at all. A lot of times creators will have weird videos within their channel that don't really fit within the subject matter of the overall channel. So if a video like that is showing your ad, even if it's in a channel that sounds good, that video could be throwing off your results. So by adding all of the individual videos from the channel, you're actually able to see the specific performance for all the specific videos within the channel. So when I'm running YouTube ad placement campaigns, which is all the time, by the way, this is the best targeting available on YouTube because of how specific you can get to specific subject matter. When I'm setting up these campaigns, I'm adding thousands of specific video placements and dozens of channels. Basically, as much as I can find that's relevant to the target audience I'm trying to reach, I'm adding a lot, a lot of placements. And then I watch to see how the specific video and channel placements are performing. If things aren't working, I turn them off. If things are working really well, I try to make sure I've done whatever I can to target similar videos. Videos working really well, I'm gonna take the title of that video, put it into the search, and find other similar related videos to make sure I'm targeting everything possible that seems to be working. So how do you find all these placements? How do you search for them? 
there are a few different ways. Inside the Google Ads interface, while you're setting up your campaign and when you go into the placements section, you can find placements in there. If you do a search for someone's name or for a keyword, you'll be able to find channels and placements that come as a result of that search. And then you can add the placements directly from within the Google Ads interface. Also, inside the Google Ads interface, if you're running other campaigns already, keyword campaigns, audiences campaigns, you can go into those campaigns and go into a section called where ads showed. This is going to show you all of the channels that your ads appeared on. Now, unfortunately, it does not show you the specific video placements, but it does show you the channels and it shows you the data connected to those channels. So if there are channels your ads have run on that have performed really well, you'll be able to see that in the where ads showed section, and then you can consider targeting those channels in your placement campaign. And then of course, you can also search right on YouTube. Go to YouTube, type in a search that your target customer would be searching for, and then look at the top results. There are going to be a, a limited number of results on each page, but there will be a lot of pages. So you can copy the links from those videos and keep going through page after page and copy all those links. Now, not all of these videos are going to allow ads to run on them, but at this stage, I would not worry about that. It would take more time to try to figure out which videos run ads versus which ones don't. Uh, it would take more time to do that than just copy all of the links, okay? If, if you're adding links into your placement targeting that don't allow ads, that's fine. Let Google system sort that out. There's no problem adding too many links. And then I can't talk about finding placement links without talking about my software vid hoarder. That's exactly what this software was built for. It utilizes YouTube search, but instead of going through page after page of search results and copying the links, vid hoarder is going to allow you to type in a keyword and then it'll list up to 500 video links all in one place. And you can literally copy and paste the entire list into your campaign, or you can go through it and select the specific placements that you want to add to your campaign. But it's as simple as just checking a box next to each video placement name. And remember when I said it's best to add all the specific video placements from a channel versus simply adding the whole channel? Vid Hoarder can help with this too. If you add the channel link into Vid Hoarder, it will spit out a list of the top 500 videos from any channel. Whatever method you're using to add placements, make sure you add a lot of them while keeping them relevant, of course. You don't wanna add a bunch of placements just for the sake of it. You do need to make sure that they are going to be videos that are being watched by your target customer, but add a lot of them. If you just add a handful, it's not going to help you much because you're not going to be able to get much traffic if you're only targeting a small number of placements. And lastly, I wanna talk about video lineups. This is a relatively new feature and Google has started putting together these lists, these lineups of different placements for you. If you add a video lineup to your targeting, your ad would then be eligible to appear on all of the videos that are within that lineup. Now these lineups are categories of videos, things like beauty and celebrity news, and yes, K-pop. Now, usually when you are targeting placements, you're targeting more how-to and informational type videos. Most of these lineups are more entertainment oriented. So I haven't found the video lineups to be useful, at least not yet, for any of the clients that I work with. But this is a new feature. Google is still growing it. They're still adding new lineups. So we'll see how this might work out in the future. So let's recap. If you want placement targeting to work as well as it possibly can, and yes, it has the potential to work extremely well, you wanna start by adding as many placements as you can, and then run the campaign and start to cut out what isn't working. At the same time, you wanna continually be adding new 
placements. People are constantly uploading new content to YouTube. There are always going to be more new placements for you to target. So this isn't just a one-time thing. This is something that you should constantly be doing as you're running these campaigns. If you like what you heard today, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can get more videos from me about YouTube ads. And go find the link in the description for VidHoarder. You can see how that tool works and sign up and start using it today. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle Sellerud and I'll see you in the next video.